how to beat the entire story mode with only one... Oh, why are they called pets? Only one pet. No, 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 not that. Okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've beaten it all. I'm on hard mode now, which I haven't beaten all of hard mode, but I'm guessing it'll be close to the same. So, let me just show you. The one card that you will need for this is the Boxing Kangaroo. And you might want a few epics to go with it, but you do not need epics. That's just if you want to beat it faster. But, like this, so you load in. This might be a long video because it. these rounds are long. But, so you put the first one right here. Do not upgrade it at all after you place it down. And then wait for you to get 300 back. And here you go. And then you place your second one right here on the other edge. Other maps might look different. The tracks are basically the same though. Right when you see the first edge, you want to put them in this pattern right here. Because then they can hit more. Now, the next one, you want to put it right here. And then stop placing down more of them at this point. And start upgrading them. Until they're all max level. Just might take a while, but... You know... You should be able to beat the round. This is hard mode, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. I might need to move around some of my guys. But inside of easy mode, I beat the entire thing in less than a couple hours. Just using this one uh, trick. So let me wait for them to kill it. Now I need $900, so it's going to take a little while, but... If you do this, it's really easy to win. You win every time, unless you somehow do something wrong. And with the fast guys, sometimes they get through, but if you have three or more, then they will not get through. That's why upgrading just one at a time isn't good, because they'll just all get through. As you can see, it attacks faster every time. If I upgrade it one more time, it'll start attacking like super fast. And then when you finish these rounds, you want to open the capsules, but do not open them one at a time or else it's not worth it at all. You want to wait until you can get the 10 times ones. Unless you like don't have the kangaroo, it's like super easy to get, so you can open it one at a time until you get it. And then I still don't have any legendaries, so after you get a legendary, you might only want to use that instead and do the same formation. But I don't have a legendary yet, even though I've spent over like 3,000 gems. I still haven't gotten a single legendary somehow. But I am on the leaderboards. I bet they all have legendaries, and I'm like the only one who doesn't have one. <laughs> but yeah. So after you get this one max level, you want to start working on the other ones. It's pretty repetitive. Max out him, and the range is pretty good. And as you can see, he like attacks non-stop now. I think this is the best... Uh, what is it called? Rare, epic, or whatever it is. Maybe it's common. I don't know. But after you open more of those eggs at the spawn, if you save up them, you can evolve them and then they get even more damage and attack speed. Mine are evolution 2 right now, so that's why they're doing 50 per hit instead of like the usual like 40. So let me wait. Wait, I can upgrade them once. This video is going to be a little bit longer. It's going to be like 15 minutes because the rounds are like 15 minutes. But let me see how fast I can get up to 900. It gives you 200 after every wave clears, so... 
Yeah. Shouldn't take too long. You don't really have to, like, try at all using this method. And I'm guessing not many people know about it. Probably tomorrow I won't even be on the leaderboards anymore, so <laughs> this is a one-time experience for me being on the leaderboards. Okay, needs 1600 and then he can be OP like the other one is. As you can see, I'm doing completely fine. This is hard mode, which is supposed to be super hard. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. So, it's not too difficult. Need 1,600. Almost there. And you get XP every time around starts. So if you're wondering how you get XP if it's like damage done or something, it's just from after the X or not. What am I even saying? After the round ends. And my recommendation in getting XP fast is doing it solo. Because you can get more gems that way because you get more damage done. And the people have more health anyway if it's doing it in multiplayer. So it's just easier to do it in solo mode. It's kind of weird that anyone can join you even if they're not on that spot in the story mode. Like, I was doing my hard mode ones, and some, like, level 2 walked up and joined me. I was like, hmm. Well, they're obviously not here in the story. Usually complete the story at, like, level 22. See, I want to show you guys me actually winning, so you don't doubt that it doesn't work. These kangaroos are overpowered. They do so much damage. It was like my first ever card that I ever got. I started off with the dire wolf and I unboxed one and got this guy and I just start winning every single round when I was using them. I've only done multiplayer like twice because it's just so much faster doing it solo. And then I've only played infinite mode once, but I don't think it's worth it. It does give you a lot of damage done, but you don't get as much XP and you don't get the one task that tells you to um, complete rounds. It just takes a longer to do it, so I definitely recommend doing the story mode. 11 out of 15. Almost to the boss. Just four more levels. These bears do have a little bit more health, but they still get shredded, as you can see. Because of how OP these kangaroos are. These kangaroos are super common to get, so... After you get one, just try to get even more and upgrade them, or evolve them. And you definitely want to feed them as well. And then you will be able to beat everything. Once you get them up to like 50 damage per hit, you can probably beat the entire hard mode. I haven't even gone out of the first place on hard mode, but you know, doesn't seem too bad. Doesn't seem much different from normal mode they just have like double the health but these guys like insta kill them still anyway upgrade him one more time now they're all upgrade three now at this point you can put in your other guys if you really want to if you want to put in like some far range guys you don't really have to but i mean you can if you want you won't lose now if you do so I guess I'll just put down this guy. This is my first ever epic that I got. I hatched it in my last video. And in my last video, I was just showcasing the game my first time playing it. 
I'll probably let it overnight tonight. And another amazing thing on this game is that when you go inside like the time chamber thing, it's a thing that says free gems on the spawn. You can make it so it never disconnects you. So it doesn't disconnect you after 20 minutes, which is amazing. So I definitely recommend doing that. It is slower to get gems in that than just doing the story. So I would recommend doing the story still. And even after you complete the entire story, it's still faster to just do, like, infinite mode. But if you want to, like, if you're AFK and you don't really have time to actually, like, play the game, you can get gems when you are not on. It's pretty great. I can show you guys where that is after I beat this. I'm about to beat it. It's a 14 out of 15. It's already been 11 minutes. This is going to be a super long video. It's going to take a while to upload, but it'll be worth it to show you guys how to beat this. These bears have a lot more health, but still going down super fast. I should probably delete this so I can show you guys that you can actually beat it with just these guys. Because I don't want you doubting me and you're like, oh, you have an epic though. That's what made you win. Only using commons. It's easy. Once you get them to evolve a couple times, you can do it pretty fast. And then you get the eggs for them to evolve just from the story as well. So... Should be fighting the boss pretty soon. Honestly, you don't even need this many of them <laughs> to win. But, I mean, it just beats it way faster if you do use this many. Once you get inside of, like, the later zones, they start having, like, speed-up ones and stuff. And that's why I don't put them right at the start. And that's why you have to do this formation, or else the speed-up ones will just zoom right past you. And get into your base. Your base has 15 health though. So I doubt you'd lose anyway. But Still. It's better to get a perfect score. Just so you can beat it faster. Okay. Let's see how fast I shred this boss. 2850 health. Not too bad. And as you can see. Their health just goes down so fast. Yup. And that was hard mode level 3. Complete with just commons. It's literally the easiest thing ever. You get 20 gems. Hard mode does count as a separate level. For some reason. But I guess it is harder. So Makes sense. Wait until it teleports me back and I can show you the time chamber thing. And you can AFK with that. And it's right over here. It's in the ranch. It says free gems. You go over to it. You go into it. And there will be an AFK sign on the bottom right. And you can click on it and it will never disconnect you. Well, there's like a 10% chance it will disconnect you, but... It's never happened to me. And then you can complete these quests. These give you a bunch of gems as well. And then use code LAUNCH. And it will give you a couple gems as well. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.